Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I am going to do a look using my Pirates of the Caribbean set that I shared in a haul. I'm also going to uh, share how I do my uh, eyeliner, like uh, up above on the top, like a uh, basic eyeliner or winged eyeliner. If you guys would like to join me and see what look I come up with and share my eyeliner and how I apply it, keep on watching. First of all, I want to say my thoughts and prayers have been with Manchester and England um, after the horrible, terrible disaster that had happened over there. It pretty much hit close to home for me because my husband is from Manchester, England, and he has family there. My in-laws are there, his cousins are there, you know, his grandma's there. There's like a lot of friends and family over there. So Manchester is his home. And so it did hit pretty close to home for us here when we heard the, um, the breaking news. My heart, and my thoughts and my prayers have been with them for quite a long time now. I know I do have a lot of viewers who are from in the UK. I know Bella, Beauty on a Budget, lives in Manchester. And just there's quite a few people I know uh, from all over around the world. Just wanted to say uh, in my part that my thoughts and prayers and my heart especially has been there. Um, it's been pretty heavy for the whole situation. And I'm hoping everybody's safe. And so everybody will be safe, be alert uh, with their surroundings and everything. So I just wanted to put that on there before I started uh, doing my videos. I had a couple people ask me to do a look with the whole set, the palette that I had from Pirates of the Caribbean. I thought I'd go ahead and jump on here and do that. Uh, I also had somebody ask me about trying to share what I do or how I apply my eyeliner. Uh, it's pretty basic. There's nothing, um, you know, that I do, I feel different than anybody else. But I, you know, like if somebody wants to see something or request something, I do want to do my best in sharing it with them. And maybe it might help them out in any pointers that I can give. I also like to mention and I do say this a lot on my videos, but I can't stress it enough because, you know, I do have some people maybe that might be a new subscriber and, you know, just in general that I am not no professional makeup artist. I am just your ordinary uh, woman who loves beauty and makeup and anything in the beauty um, field, you know, skincare, makeup, hair care, everything. So I'm not no professional by any means just always like to put that out there. I'm going to go ahead and start off. I already did any any other products that I use I will put down below because I'm just going to focus on this palette and the cheek palette and the lip product and stuff like the set that I got and everything. If you want to see um, or hear more detail I do have a blog I will put that down below. If you want to see some of the swatches of some of the eyeshadows and um, lip products and everything. I'm going to put on this shade right here. It's called Bones. I don't know how well you're going to see with the glare. This one's, this is called Bones. I'm going to put that all over from the lash line to the brow to set my primer and get a base going. A lot of times when you hear people say that it is uh, mainly because a lot of eye primers can be still tacky, which that's good in its own self because you know that it's there to help um, keep your eyeshadow prolonged for a good bit of time during the day. But when you're trying to apply your eyeshadows, uh, you don't want it to drag along on there. So when you put another, if you put a base on uh, over the primer, that will help it glide much more smoothly um, when you're doing your application of your eyeshadows. When in doubt, because a matte eyeshadow is best to use on for that part, but when in doubt and you don't have anything, you can use your pressed powder. That's what I do. If you have a pressed powder compact, that's what I do sometimes when maybe a palette I have or just I don't have anything, you can just use your pressed powder and that will work fine. Like I said, I'm going to put bones. Uh, all over from lash line to lid. I'm going to 
take uh, Tell No Tales, this one right here. It's a nice um, a burnt brown color. I'm going to actually put that all along in my crease area. So we're going to go ahead and work with that. It's a matte shade and we're going to work that in my crease area. I'm going to move it the whole way across actually. So I'm going to go from here all the way over. take this shade here called Pirate's Chest. It's another matte shade. It's kind of a um, like um, an, a beige, peachy beige shade. Best way I can describe it, I think. I'm not always good at describing colors, so I'm going to put that a little bit above the color that I just did with Tail No Tails, just to kind of mesh it all together a little bit. A lot of people consider that a transition shade. I find when I do a light hand with it, with that way, it works so much more better. Like instead of holding, instead of holding it right here, if you're doing eyeshadow, you're putting too much pressure. I've learned if you hold way at the bottom here, that it has the more obviously lighter application which can give you their application in itself with the eyeshadows. I'm going to use Matey which is right here. It's another matte. It is a more off-white off -white shade. I'm going to use and put at the um, brow bone area. called Sea Haze is a shimmer color. It's a really pretty uh, sea green, kind of a misty green color. I'm going to try and put that on the top on my eyelid and see how well. I was thinking maybe I should have added milk there to make it pop a little bit more, uh, but we'll see. actually dip into Menace. It's a very deep matte green like forest on the screen and I'm gonna put that in the outer part like uh, do a little bit of a V and that will give a little more definition also. So I usually tap which I find is a better method for me and go up here a little bit, not fully, but come down and then go over across. And then I just brush strokes just gently, not hard, just gently. There. And I'll show you what I do here in a minute, but I'm going to take my little fluffy brush and just kind of gently. Gently, gently soften it a little bit there to tell no tails a little bit more. That's that burnt brownie color and just work a little bit here. But that, so I feel like I lost, sometimes that happens. You'll lose the color a little bit of what you're working with. I'm going to take a little bit more of that sea haze green, but I'm going to do it with my finger because sometimes I find it's better that way for me if I pat it on a little bit more. Then I don't worry I got too much on a brush. Not sure how well you'll see the 
colors I've blended in there right now, but um, hopefully I can. I use the Lorac eyeliner, but I'm going to use it in the use it in the tight line area. Some people don't feel good and comfortable brushing along up in that inner area there, but that's called tight line. It uh, actually helps to make the lashes um, see more fuller or darker or something like that. It puts the whole look together. I mean, so if you can do it, not you don't have to. And some people get a little nerve, but once you get the hang of it, sometimes like I'll even partly close my eyes like this. Which I have certain ones I don't mind doing it. But here I'll do it real gently. Then here I partly close. It feels like that eye is more tickly than this one. It does tickle me sometimes. That's what it does for me more. Now I'm going to do my eyeliner up above here. Now the one I found that I'm really, really liking is the Rimmel 24 Color Precise uh, Eyeliner in black. This one right here does have that long tip like that. And the reason why I like that is because I can set it along and it will get right at the very front where I always have a hard time. I like this one because it's like in between. It's not too wet, it's not too dry. It applies perfect for me. Start at the very tip here with this pen and I just press. I like to do a tap. And then I glide it a little bit, but I do a, a tap at first that helps guide me to get me ready to go along on my lash line. Now you can make it as thin as you want. You can make it as thick as you want. That's pretty much the beauty. And I tap along as I'm going on here and then I flip it this way and then press. But then I flick it in a little bit. And then I go back over here and again pat. This is what I do. Like I said, everybody's comfortable in the way they do it. And I try to get as close as I can, which I think that's why I like it, to the lash line area. So if I wanted to do my wing, my eyes are getting more crepey. So I must have to hold it up to here. And I go right about where my crease area is at. And I bring it down. And when I do that, like start my little line there, I connect it at the edge and bring it in. And then just fill this part in a little bit more. Make it a little more thicker. But that's pretty much how I've been doing it. I know everybody's different and how they like to do it. I'll try to get too much in a hurry and you know I think it's better not to. I did put my other stuff on and I'm gonna go and do my lower lash line area. Now I'm not sure what color to go for. Probably work in the same colors that I just used. I think I'll start with Menace. That forest green and start from the outer and work a little bit in. Take a sea haze and work it a little bit in the middle part there. Before 
I forget. I want to do the uh, inner tear area because uh, I don't want to brighten that up. And I found, which one was it? Shiver Me. This color here called Shiver Me is really pretty for that area. So. Hilarious. Didn't even realize I didn't have my light on. <laughs> anyway, little ring light that I have. Just a little thing, but I realized I just didn't have it on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use my blush palette. I think I'll go in with Fortune. This one's more of a pearlescence color. I'm going to do that for my highlight today. I don't think I've actually used it. Oh, holy shit. Um, oh. Hello, Holly. Mix the two, Caribbean and Lost Soul. I'm going to mix these two shades. You've got to really watch um, the Roller Rock blushes because, yes, they can be very pigmented. to do is I like to take some form of a stippling brush and kind of mesh that all together a little bit. It does work really nice. I like it that way. I'm going to use the Risk It All. It's one of the newer ones I just got. Uh, lipstick Lip Gloss. This is a little more darker color. Um, not sure what color. Dark, darker peach color, maybe. Yeah, some sparklies in the lip gloss. Okay, so there is the final look using my Pirates palette the pirates palette and the lip product and the blush and highlight like i said only cow with the highlight didn't expect it to get because i didn't try the pearl ones i really like the collection like i told everybody i think it just depends on like i'm a pirates fan i love the rock uh the eyeshadows um i just the collector meat just all that for myself is a big huge reason why I purchased it and I do like it a lot. I think it does have really pretty colors. Like if you're somebody that really likes the cool tones, you're gonna love this palette because it does have a lot of them beautiful cool tone shades to them. And I do feel like you can uh, maintain this to a, like if you're going to work in an office, you can do a nice neutral kind of a shade, you know, look with it. But then you can also go to an evening, more um, smoky look or darker look with this palette. So I think you really could do both. And the lip gloss and lipsticks aren't very, as you can see, like a lot of them aren't very um, bold or bright. That's the one thing I noticed, they're not really that bold or bright, but I think with this whole palette theme, it was probably best they didn't like. Sorry beauties, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. Thank you to those who requested this. It's kind of fun when people request certain things and uh, you get to do a look with some of your uh, new products and everything. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helped me out so much and I very much appreciate that. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. you can come and join me each week. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell that's right next to the subscribe button. If you do, you will be notified by email of when my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch. So make sure you hit the bell and the subscribe button. And as always, bees, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, 
You take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.